We often project a wakefulness, full awakefulness for the in-between life's uh, time or beings who are there, when it's not always the case. If you're still playing a game of victim aggressor or whatever, that game will continue in your in-between lives. So you're not necessarily going to become instantly enlightened in your in-between lives. That's why it's been known for the human species that this happened. That's why, for example, Buddhist monks will chant continuously when a person is dying to remind them that they mustn't fall asleep when they're in between lives and make, you know, karmic choices rather than enlightened choices. Right? And sometimes that works, sometimes it doesn't. But just because a person is in between lives doesn't mean they're enlightened or awake.